guys, welcome back. Mike here, another episode of MRC. Something new, something different. This actually isn't mine. This belongs to a friend of mine. This is the FS Racing Team Raptor. It's a 10 wheel drive, a uh, 10 scale four wheel drive buggy. Uh, he picked this up off of Banggood. I think he paid around $170 Canadian for it, free shipped to his house. And uh, we were ripping around the parking lot after work on Friday and uh, he was more than glad to let me borrow this and do a video on this and it was too cold outside and we didn't get any running video but maybe we'll do that soon so I just wanted to show you guys this buggy and uh, you know just do a quick overview and just uh, maybe some of you might be interested in what it's got to offer so again it's online on Banggood um, there'll be a thing in my notes about it so you can check it out there just go over this quick. This is a really durable, heavy buggy. I would say this buggy probably weighs about four pounds. And the reason for that is it is very rugged and durable. It has a full alloy or aluminum chassis. It's got a carbon fiber uh, print to it, which is really cool looking. Uh, it's got beefy A arms. It's got upper A arms here. Uh, all the adjustments are here for um, some shock um, positioning off the A-arms uh, it looks like you got three holes so you can put them more upright or lay them down the shocks are plastic with metal caps I feel like they got oh, some oil in them but it could that one not so much but uh, looks like it has adjustable for some toe I don't see it for camber though. Uh, uses metal dog bones here for the outdrive to the wheels, front and back. Um, just go over here quick with the body. I found this to be kind of interesting. It's got a full roll cage inside. Just bear with me for a second as I unmount the body. That's the body for it. That's kind of cool. Never seen something like that. And here we go. And Inside here we got a pretty good, I would say, at least splash proof, but pretty much waterproof receiver box. Uh, standard servo, 3K, 3kg, it's got an FS Racing sticker on it, so I wouldn't expect anything too much, but it's strong enough for sure. Uh, it's got a brush motor on here, brush DSC. He has a light kit, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can turn it on. Shouldn't leave your battery plugged in, I might remind you, but I did for this video. You can see, got some cool LEDs on it. Uh, it's LiPo compatible, even though it's brushed. Uh, he's, my buddy Mike, he's put in a uh, 5200 uh, 2S LiPo in here. He's got a pretty good protective guard up here really interesting here which is kind of really cool is a plastic clear cover guard that screws down to keep uh, debris and stones out of the, the gears and the transmission so that is really cool you don't see that often on many RC's uh, looks like it's got a aluminum drive shaft center drive shaft two differentials um, Again, it's got a, a metal, aluminum, or alloy chassis brace across on the top. Shock towers are, again, probably aluminum or alloy. Uh, don't be fooled with the carbon fiber print. These aren't carbon fiber. If it was carbon fiber, you would see the black and you'd see where it's been machined. Here, this has got the carbon fiber paint job. Same in the back. Same deal here going on. Longer shocks, plastic, metal caps. The wing is very sturdy, very beefy wing. Reminds me of the Quantum Vandal wing a bit. So that's good. Um, wheels, yeah, they're maybe a little more of a medium compound. But they got foam in there. You know, they should do the job for just general bashing if you want to take her out in the road or do some off-roading, nothing uh, particular I would use for anything on a racetrack, but I think this is a terrain vehicle. 
and some road ripping, you know, almost like a rally type of tread style and what you would want to do with this buggy. So I'm really impressed with this buggy. Uh, I've seen it drive. I was pretty impressed with that. The brush setup, I'd say it was going about 40 kilometers an hour. Um, my friend is just getting into RC cars and he's already investigating the brushless setup and probably by the end of the year it wouldn't surprise me if he's got um, you know an eight, eight turn in here with a brushless setup and um, he knows that he can come to me for information and uh, we'll uh, figure that out and help him do an upgrade for sure so one thing I will say about this vehicle is that it doesn't use hex um, screws it uses uh, is that Phillips one with the star um, everything here is tightly secured but if you ever want to take these out those type of screws tend to strip easily so and that's why many manufacturers use hex screws so but that's a minor gripe you can always replace these with hex as you go and um, you know you can just go down to Harbor Freight or some hardware store, Canadian Tire if you're in Canada, Lowe's, Home Depot, maybe find some compatible screws, local hardware store, whatever you got, or an auto place or something. So, guys, this is the FS Racing Raptor. Just a quick overview. Hope you guys like it. Hope my buddy lets me uh, do some more videos with this, and we'll maybe keep you updated. Again, this was from Banggood Online. All the stuff's in my notes. So check it out there if you're interested. Take a peek. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you again next time.